Hey y'all, this your boy Trucker Will, and I'm trucking it like always. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. So when I posted up, got my morning coffee, I watched me some Trucker Out. It gives you the up-to-date scoop on what's going on. Check out Trucker Out. I'll let y'all see you on the road. Later. Yeah, buddy. So, we are currently at the shipper. Uh, we just finished up our 34-hour reset, and we were just west of Columbus, Ohio. So, we're at a shipper for Bed Bath & Beyond. Nope. Bath and Bed... Something. Hang on a minute. Bath & Body Works. Same thing. Um, not even close. But anyways, Bath & Body Works is where we're at, just east of Columbus, Ohio picking up a load when they're done loading the trailer. Um, we already dropped off our empty here. And um, now we're just waiting on them to finish up loading our preloaded trailer. So we, we're only 20 minutes early, but apparently they're only halfway through loading up the trailer. So here we sit. Um, now, I am going to vlog this one because I do want to get back into the vlogs. Um, for some reason that GoPro 8's not working. I don't know. The only thing I can come up with with that is, is trying to buy a new ST card or SD card. Um, maybe the other ones because they were formatted to the Hero 5's that maybe that's why it, it doesn't want to record video because even now just clicking the record button and trying to record what I'm doing, it won't even do that now. So if that doesn't work, um, what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna take the GoPro with me, take it over to Walmart and buy a new SD card. And if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna hand it to them and say, take this freaking thing back. I think I still have the receipt for it. If not, just exchange it for another one because I think something might be defective with the one that I've got. But um, the other thing is, is, guys, like I said in the live feed, um, I have this idea in my head and for some reason, I, I can't get this thing out of my head now. I, it's all I think about now is this idea that I wanna do with the channel. Um, and, you know, I've been doing so much research with it and I know April's been doing research with it. She's like, you know, here, check this out, check that out. And um, I'm excited for it, I really am. Like I said, it's gonna run me probably close to, I'd say somewhere between 1500 and two grand to get this thing started. And um, to me, it's just a small investment for a big payout. And what I mean by payout is just me being happy, you know, and it's, that's, that's what it's all about, is, you know, doing what you enjoy doing. So, um yeah it's i can't wait to where i can start telling people about it and, and talking about it and um but i i can't do it to you i can't do that just yet because i am a little bit of ways from doing this i mean it's gonna take me a couple of months to get everything that i need and to get everything set up and um so i don't i don't want to spoil the surprise but trust me guys it's gonna be huge huge um, so that's as far as that goes. Um, the live feeds are going to continue. Um, pretty much what I'm going to do for right now is I'm going to vlog while I'm out here and then do the live feeds, you know, as well, you know, when I'm shut down or, you know, whatnot. So, but we got everything done that I wanted to do on the reset. Truck's nice and cleaned out. That's kind of a mess though whatever but everything i got the truck blown out i got the airline thing with the air gun on the passenger seat so i got the truck all blown out and then polished the floors and the dash and all the upper cabinets lower cabinets did the windows so truck looks good smells good um you know stuff you got to do on your 34 hour reset you know if you're stuck doing a 34 might as well get stuff done. I mean, I'm cleaned up, showered twice, and 
you know, fed, caught up on sleep, got the truck nice and clean, caught up on some uh, Netflix movies. So that is that. Like I said, we're just sitting there waiting at the shipper. As soon as they get uh, that trailer loaded, we'll get hooked up to it and we're making our way to, we're not going far, we're only going like 500 miles to Virginia. Um, it's going to be just outside of Richmond. Henrico is what it's called. So, well, we're going to stop at a Love's. Um, it's about a couple hours away. Get fuel. Fill up the truck. Def. Reefer. And probably get another cup of coffee. So, that's that. I'll see you soon. <laughs>
everybody. All right, so I wasn't originally planning on stopping here. Um, it turned out that the loves that the fuel optimizer wanted me to go to um, was about 30 miles off route. So I ended up calling in and getting a different place to get fuel. Um, and then as I was here, I started looking around the Richmond, Virginia area, which is where we got to go. We're going to be just southeast of Richmond. And um, there's no place to park out there. So we, we're only a couple hours out from our receiver and it doesn't deliver till noon tomorrow so i figured you know what i can at least shut down here and there's food here um i can get my coffee in the morning there's plenty of parking and um so that's that decided to shut down here and then um yeah so we'll get a good night's sleep it's a dry load, so I don't have to worry about the reefer on. I don't know if, how well I'm going to sleep without the reefer, but we'll see. And then uh, we'll pick this back up tomorrow. I don't have a pre-plan yet as to what we're doing afterwards, but seeing that we don't deliver this till noon, chances are... Um, plus, it, it's Sunday, so... You know, I, tomorrow's going to be interesting. For some reason, I keep thinking today's Friday, and... I just can't get it through my head that it is Saturday, tomorrow being Sunday. I don't know how the planners are for the weekend because I try to avoid this situation. So we are all going to find out together what the plan is going to be for tomorrow. Um, if I don't have a another load assignment by the time we leave here, then when I do leave here, I will call in and see if I can light a fire under their rear. And uh, we'll go from there. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Well, as you can see, I got my coffee. Um... Got a good night's sleep. I fell asleep quite a bit early last night. So, of course, I'm up at the ass crack of dawn. Which is alright. I can't believe the amount of parking that is actually still here at this Loves. Um, this is... I don't know, I guess it's not a high traffic area, I guess. I mean, it's still got a lot of trucks in it, but... You never see this kind of parking that it loves, you know, especially this early in the morning. But um, I already placed the call into the office, told them, you know, we double checked that this is definitely a live unload, which kind of sucks on my end. But it is what it is. But I told them, I said, you know, I don't have a pre plan, so, you know, we deliver at noon. So figure, you know, 2 o'clock or any time thereafter, we're going to need another load out of this area. And she says to me, she's like, well, where do you want to go? I'm like, at this point, I really don't care. It's, you know, the further the better. Because, I mean, we're looking at today's the 15th. I'm not even due home until, like, Christmas Day. And, that, like I said, that's only going to be a quick drive through Um... I got plenty of time. I got a full 70 hour clock and so I mean I can make it uh, you know three quarters of the way across the country and back before I well before Christmas I don't even need to be home. Um, we don't have any big plans or anything like that so it's just going to be you know spending the day with you know April and Christmas Day but we don't have any plans so not a big deal. Um, she's going to be coming back out, um, that, yeah, when I go home Christmas, she's coming back out with me, so, that will be out for, I don't know how long, um, because with the amount of time that I've been out, and me only going home for a few hours on Christmas, 
um, I come Christmas Day, I'm going to be scheduled for home time. You know, I, I've already been out. It'll be almost a month that I'm out. Actually, it'll be about a month. So now the thing with Crete is they don't schedule home time anything around Christmas because uh, we're so busy. So plus, you know, if they did that, every driver is going to want to be home at the same time. So they guarantee every driver to be home if they want to be home on Christmas, but you're going to be under a load and it's going to all depend on, you know, your delivery as to how long you're at home and when you need to leave and, and whatnot, which I guess it makes it fair for everybody. So, um, when I come back out, April will be with me and then, um, I might only be out for a couple of weeks, maybe two at the most. Um, that's why I can get home and take a break. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Depends on the loads. I mean, if they keep me happy and keep me rolling, you know, crisscrossing the country or something like that, I may just stick it out another three weeks, which will actually, minus Christmas Day, that'll keep me out almost two months. So, not a bad thing. Got to make that money. Yeah. Now, we got probably about an hour and a half before we got to leave. Um, we're 180 miles out. So figure about three hours. But I'm going to leave at 8 a.m. to get there by 11. I I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just a, a habit that I got into. But I try to arrive at the receivers and shippers at least an hour before the appointment time. It's just something I've always done. And... Um, it pretty much guarantees that I'll be there on time. This way, even with me being three hours out now, if I come across an accident or something along those lines, I have that hour to play with and still be able to make it to them on time. It's just little things like that, good habits to get into. Um, if you're just coming into the industry, you know, think ahead. You know, think ahead and cover your ass. That's the biggest thing out here. Um, was doing a little bit more research. Um, we're going to call it the idea for now. But I was doing a little bit more research on that. And there was one thing that I was questioning about it. And I got my answer this morning. And the answer was what I was hoping for. So, um, that is another good thing. <clears throat> so things are falling into place. Now it's just a matter of the financial aspect of getting this, you know, off the ground and how I'm going to do it. Cause there's a couple of different ways that I can do this. And now it's just a matter of, and I, I think the financial aspect of, of it is going to be about the same, no matter how I do it. If I go with choice A or choice B, and it, the financial aspect would be about the same. So now it's just a matter of what I want to do with it. Um, it would be not only different products, but um, different ways of doing it, per se. And uh, I just got to figure out which way I want to do it. I, I'm leaning towards A, but B is still there. Um, yeah, that's that. So far, the rain has stopped. You know what? Let's check out the weather. So currently, we're at 43 degrees, mostly cloudy. Uh, no chance of precipitation today. Let's check the radar. Radar is nice and clear. Looks like it's snowing up north. So Pennsylvania and, and New York, they got a lot of snow. Looks like Detroit. Lansing, Michigan, they're getting a lot of snow. And then, boy, Nebraska. Nope, yeah, Nebraska and uh, Kansas. Man, you guys are getting pounded with snow. Uh, what direction is that thing heading? So it's heading straight east. And it looks like it's building. So any kind of luck, we're gonna head southwest, like towards Texas or Louisiana or 
somewhere that way. Because if we end up heading like to Nebraska, that's going to be fun. I mean, I'm not opposed to it, but you know, I don't mind driving in the bad weather, you know, as far as, you know, snow and stuff like that. I don't mind it because I know that I'm safe. You know, I keep my distance from the vehicle in front of me. It's everybody else that I'm concerned about. You know, it, it takes one idiot to crash into me and that can spin me out of control. Um, but, you know, if, if I get sent into something like that, I give them the heads up and say, hey, listen, just so you know, this is what I'm going to be facing when I hit this area. And so it may slow things down. We may have to adjust the appointment time at the receiver. Some along those lines. That's It's just part of communicating with your dispatcher. Because um, a lot of times they're so busy, you know, they could be in a complete blizzard and send you a load right to that area and not even realize that, hey, that truck's going to be caught up for a little bit. They don't even realize that. So that's where your communication comes into play. But we will see what kind of load they give us. Um, if they give us one at all, I'll be shocked. I mean, I'm dealing with the Sunday ghost crew. So I've, n I've never had to deal with the weekend crew yet. This is actually the first time. Usually my, uh, my manager usually stacks me for the weekend so I don't have to I made that abundantly clear when I first started here that the less I have to deal with the night and weekend crew the better I just I don't have the patience for them and um, this, I think this is the first time that I've actually had to deal with them we'll see we'll see how much different they are compared to what I'm used to All right, guys. Well, when it's time, we will move. I'll see you soon.
Body. So we're here at the receiver. We got her probably about a half hour, 45 minutes early. This place is an absolute ghost town. It took me almost 20 minutes just to find somebody. There's one person working, and according to him, he doesn't have a crew to unload this trailer until 2 o'clock. So backed up to the door and now we sit and wait and of course just as i suspected i got a message over the computer saying that they don't have any loads for today so to me i call horseshit but i think they just didn't want to look so we're gonna wait for these guys here to start and finish and the thing of this load here it's it's not even on pallets so they're not even doing anything with a forklift it is literally just boxes thrown in the trailer. My The back of this trailer actually looks like a UPS truck. So, yeah, we're going to wait for these guys to do this. And then uh, there's a loves about 20 minutes from here. And we're going to go shut down over there till tomorrow morning. Truck driving at its best. And this is supposed to be the busiest time of the year. God, I can't wait for my idea to come through now oh, well I'll see you guys soon